All right, so we found <laughs> finally a map. <laughs> uh huh. We are here. For some reason, people got to touch that and it's all worn down. <laughs> like I'm doing right now. So maybe I'm one of the people to do that. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So I think we're going to head down. Giraffes, zebras, most important elephants. And then we'll probably uh, head over to, to the, the dragon. Uh, dragon forest. Cool. All right, let's go, guys. Sounds like a plan. Hey Jackson, come on. Come on here. All right, bye. So welcome back to our channel. Uh, as we uh, probably saw a previous post, we went to the uh, San Antonio Zoo. Well, when we purchased those tickets, we got to get to the Dragon Forest, but <laughs> we ran out of time and didn't make it. So these are going to be what we missed out with the dragon for us. We'll see what we find. Hiya. Yeah, where are we gonna go down there? Yeah. What is this, buddy? Oh no! Oh no, someone's too excited. He slides. What is that, Jackson? Hey buddy, what is this? <laughs> yeah? You say hi? <laughs> Where are we going, buddy? Ooh, what does it say over here? Bunny. Uh-oh. All right, let's What about this one? What does it say? Bunyip. Yeah, look. Mm-hmm. From Australian mythical fossil. Uh-oh. Oh my god, look at this. <gasps> oh no. Are you scared? Oh my god, I hear the voice. Alright, Jackson. Oh, there's a show later. <laughs> What's this? Cockatrice. So cockatrice, whatever. <laughs> Legend has it that the basilic metamorphoses to become a rooster slash serpent hybrid. It accomplished this by hatching from a cockerel's egg incubated by a serpent or toad. <gasps> look at this, Jackson, look! Wait, is it chicken? Is it a <laughs> uh oh no, no climbing, buddy. No climbing. Look at it looks like a chicken, but look like it. But look, it has like wings and tail like dragon. Mommy, look. What is it, buddy? <gasps> oh man, I want this, the water dragon. Come on, I like this one. Come on. Water dragon. This serpent lives in the sea and has rubbery skin like an octopus. It is also strong and powerful like a whale. Whoa. Look, it's super. Look yeah, look at his teeth. And it says, Ethan, that his skin is so slimy like octopus. The rock? Okay. Uh huh. What about this one, buddy? It's friendly dragon. 
with cute tuft ears and whimsical frills this western style dragon is based on kenneth graham's 1898 fairy tale the reluctant dragon she's kid friendly peaceful and loves poetry Whoa. What's good about events like during the pandemic is that all corners of, well not really like all corners, but everywhere you will see hand sanitizer, so that's cool. What is this guy? Jackson, what is this one? East Asian, who? Where are you, buddy? What color is that? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Hands? Oh no. Are you going? Going wipe here on mommy's pants. Mommy's pants. No. No. Mm hmm. Mhm. Yeah, he has wings and long tail. This is his name. A javelin snake. giant dragonfly look it's an expert flyer with near 360 degree vision it can even catch and eat its prey while flying you can protect these real life dragons by creating spaces for them in your own backyard in tagalog tutubi 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 What is this name, my love? Ooh, look how long the tail is. What's a cold? Body of rattlesnake and feathers and long tongue of a pollinating insect. Are you tired? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. You hear that? Manticore. Persia. It has a body of a lion, sharp quills of a porcupine on its tail, and very large teeth. Oh man, look at that. Whoa. Hey Jackson, are you hearing that sound? Oh, oh my god, it's a Komodo dragon! The world's largest wind lizard. They can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh 170 pounds. Oh my god, look at this. Let's go. Oh my god. I think we saw this the uh, Phoenix. Yeah, I think so. Basil basilisk. basilisk. Oh my god. Now if anyone watches Harry Potter would know what a basilisk is. Whoa. Jackson is looking at you. It's a basilisk. Yeah. King of snakes. Lives in the desert, huh? Okay. Whoa. So this 
is an Arctic dragon. Oh man. Arctic dragon is a combination of several animals you would find in the cold climate such as polar bears and reindeer. It is awesome. Look at what that. What animals remind you of? What does it say? It doesn't say. Maybe they're at the very bottom. Nothing. <laughs> Ninkinanka! A what? Ninkinanka. Sounds like a drinking game. <laughs> See, I saw this. Scales. Hello, Tata. Hey. Uh, hey, Jackson, where are you going? <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Uh oh. Look, yeah, ha she has three babies. Ethan, look, she has three babies. Look, look, one is trying to get out. Mommy, yeah, let me take picture of this. So that concludes the ending of the Dragon Forest. Um, it was all right, but it was an add-on to the zoo, so it's not like it was. We were expecting like a whole day event. We probably knocked that out in like what 20, 30 minutes, maybe. There's there's some pretty cool stuff in there. But ultimately, it was ge geared towards a younger audience. That's why we brought them. We saw some uh, reviews in online, and they weren't too positive with the reviews. But when you look at the fact that we're entertaining two toddlers, it was actually pretty okay for the money we, we, we spent. Um, glad we finally made it back out here. Uh, like I said before, we initially bought these tickets when we went to the San Antonio Zoo. Kind of an add-on section. But we, didn't, we just we just couldn't make it last time, so we had to, we just drove back Mommy. just for this one portion. Uh, fortunately, parking is free, so we didn't have to double up on parking. So that's what it was. A couple interesting creatures, and uh, let us know what you think about some of those. Yeah, that's, that's it, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye.